Amazon finally made the move to increase hourly wages for its workers to $15 an hour. So why are some employees upset? And why am I upset? Watch and learn, you'll see. You're watching What's Trending, I'm Jonathan Harris. Like this video and subscribe for more social media news daily. Amazon SVP of Operations Dave Clark recently announced that all its workers would make a minimum hourly wage of $15 an hour. So the fact that no one refers, we are also establishing a new Amazon minimum wage of $15 an hour. <laughs> And this has been a long time coming. Amazon warehouse workers have long demanded better pay and decreased pressure to make what's known as rate, a pre-established quota that often results in workers being afraid to go to the bathroom for fear of losing their jobs. While at the same time, Amazon CEO and penis-wearing sunglasses Jeff Bezos has become the richest person to ever live. Senator Bernie Sanders was a major proponent of Amazon changing its tune, even introducing legislation that would tax corporations whose workers were on government assistance. And he initially praised the move. And I just want to congratulate the fight for 15 people, the hundreds of workers at Amazon who came forward and talked about how it is absurd that the richest person in the history of the world, Jeff Bezos, was paying with people wages so low they were really having a hard time getting by and many of them were forced to go on food stamps or other federal programs. Not all Amazon employees are happy. CNBC reported that some employees could actually make less money now, since the company is also getting rid of monthly bonuses and stock awards. The New York Times spoke to several people upset about it. Katie Iber, who works the night shift in an Amazon warehouse in Minneapolis, says her monthly bonus would be between $1.28 and $2.50 per hour, more than the dollar an hour raise in base pay she's getting. So employees are going to have a more reliable increase in their hourly pay, but bonuses, including the holiday bonuses that could be substantial, are now gone. It seems like Amazon is trying to earn praise by doing right by their workers, while also docking worker pay to offset the cost. What a shock that a major corporation would try to get out of paying its employees a lot more money. And in case you're curious, Amazon had second quarter profits this year of $2 billion. Of course, I guess you can't blame Amazon so much. It's a corporation not a person with a conscience whose only purpose is to generate as much profit as possible. But the human beings who run Amazon, who do presumably have consciences, could let their employees unionize and fight for better conditions, considering that they're the biggest retailer in the country with a higher value than Walmart, Target, Best Buy, Macy's, Kohl's, Nordstrom, JCPenney, and Sears combined. But that's not gonna happen anytime soon. So in response to the backlash, Senator Sanders has sent a letter to Amazon asking how its longtime employees who previously received stock incentives would be effective. And certainly that would go a long way toward making up for how wages over the last several decades have not kept up with inflation. Here's a quick rant about that by me. Of course by me, that's in 1979, the federal minimum wage was $2.90. Today, it's $7.25. But $7.25 today actually has less buying power than $2.90 did in 1979. Because of increasing demands by American companies, worker productivity has more than doubled in the last 40 years, but Americans aren't making double the money. In fact, accounting for inflation, we're making less. And the top 1%? Well, you know how they've been doing. Kind of puts a damper on the whole low employment, the economy's so great speeches. And we've created over 50,000 new jobs in electrical contracting. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. And look, when you talk to people who live in cities, which are always getting more expensive, you'll find that even $15 an hour probably isn't enough to live on. It's not gonna cut it, you know, we need more than that. Here's the thing, back then, you could afford a place, you can, you can, you can save up and you can actually buy a house in the future with the way things were back then. Nowadays, you can't do that. Rent keep going up faster than we can get paid. It's that simple. Everything's getting more expensive, and none of us are making enough money to keep up. Except for the richest people in the world who are making way more money than they could ever possibly spend. How many f***ing yachts do you need? How about zero or one is the only acceptable number of yachts? I mean, look at this video one more time and think about what's happening here. So the fact that no one refers, we are also establishing a new Amazon minimum wage of $15 an hour. <laughs> 
I mean, things have gotten so bad in America that these are workers applauding a man who makes millions of dollars because he's graciously giving them an hourly wage which can barely purchase a burger at Chili's anymore, let alone pay for uh, health care, rent, child care, phone bill, you know. Uh, uh, you need to replace uh, a refrigerator or something. What do you think the minimum wage should be? Let us know in the comments below. And for more stories like this, head over to whatstrending.com.